In this video, we'll study about the anatomy of the maxillary sinus. The sinuses are a series of interconnecting hollow spaces in the skull. The spaces communicate with the nasal cavity. There are four groups of sinuses, the frontal, the ethmoid, the sphenoid, and the maxillary. So, the possible functions of sinuses are air conditioning, reduction of the skull weight, pressure damping, resonance of voice, heat insulation, and humidification and warming of the inspired air. The maxillary sinus was first described in 1651 by Nathaniel Highmore, and that's the reason it is called as the antrum of Highmore. The maxillary sinuses are two in number, one on either side of the maxilla, and they are the largest of the paranasal air sinuses. They communicate with the other sinuses through the lateral wall of the nose. The maxillary sinus are pyramidal in shape and has a base, apex and four sides. The base is formed by the lateral wall of the nose. The apex projects laterally into the zygomatic process of maxilla and may overextend to the zygomatic bone when the sinus is large. The roof is formed by thin orbital plate. The infraorbital canal containing the nerves and vessels run down along the roof. The posterior wall separates the sinus from the infratemporal and the pterygopalatine fossa. It is pierced by the posterior superior alveolar nerve which travel to the molar teeth. The anterior wall is the facial surface of the maxilla. The floor is formed by the lateral hard palate, alveolar process of maxilla carrying the roots of the premolars and the molars. The blood supply to the mucous membrane is from the arteries which pierce the bone and are derived from the facial, the maxillary, the infraorbital and the greater palatine arteries. So the veins, they accompany the arteries. I mean, the vein accompany the arteries and they will drain into the anterior facial vein and then to the pterygoid plexus of veins. The lymphatic drainage of the maxillary sinus is through the infraorbital foramen or through the osteum and then to the submandibular and deep cervical lymph nodes. The nerve supply is from the branches of the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve. These are the superior dental nerve, the anterior, middle and the posterior and the greater palatine nerves. Their pathways are of surgical importance as there is a possibility of damage to any of these nerves while doing surgical procedures on the anterior and the posterior walls of the antrum. The anterior superior dental nerve is given off from the infraorbital nerve about 15 millimeters from the infraorbital foramen and courses down the anterior wall of the sinus. The middle superior dental nerve is probably present in more than 50% of cases and when present, it arises from the lateral aspect of the infraorbital nerve. The posterior superior dental nerve, they have two main offshoots of importance. The superior branch tunnels the lateral wall of the antrum and runs at the level of the malar tuberosity, while the larger inferior branch is below and courses parallel to the transverse facial part of the anterior nerve. 